two best friends are immortalized on Red Broom's carousel. One, a reformed heathen, the other, a man of God. Both practiced what they preached. Thomas Ryman was born in Nashville in 1841. As a teenager, the Cumberland River beckoned Thomas, who worked as a fisherman to support his widowed mother. The river would come to bring Thomas an earthly fortune and end up leading him to his heavenly father. During the Civil War, he serviced both forces, the Confederate and the Union forces. And in doing so, he gained quite a bit of wealth and started buying steamboats. And he accumulated up to 35 of these steamboats. So he had quite a, a team of men working for him. One by one, Ryman bought his riverboats and bolstered his profits by offering gambling and alcohol. But there was a problem. Ministers holding tent revivals were coming to town discouraging drinking. Ryman's plan was to drive the preachers out of town by sending his workers to heckle the great believers. One night, Ryman decided to do his own dirty work. May the 10th, 1885, he and a group of his guys went over to the tent revival of Samuel Porter Jones. And before he could start to heckle, he became moved by what Samuel Jones was preaching about. The Reverend Sam Jones' message transformed Ryman, who became a born-again Christian. He met with Samuel Jones afterwards and said that he would like to build a place where he could come to town and preach, but not only him, but all touring revival preachers could come to town and, and not have to preach in a tent again. Ryman wanted to build a permanent church for traveling ministers. He was a man of vision and of his word. Fourteen years and $100,000 later, much of the money from Ryman's personal holdings, the Union Gospel Tabernacle was completed. Believers packed the new church to listen to the word of God. Ryman and Jones' friendship deepened throughout the years. When Ryman died in 1904, his dear friend Sam Jones presided over the service to a packed house of 4,000 mourners. After the service, Sam Jones initiated a vote that the Union Gospel Tabernacle be renamed the Ryman in honor of his friend. The vote was unanimous. Two years later, it was the passing of Sam Jones Local believers mourned.